What's going on crew? It's your boy Cam. Welcome back. Yes, I'm planning on getting rid of all this shit. I just gotta sell it. Oh, got a new seat on the way already. The motorcycle's awesome. The only other really crappy thing about this bike stock is the exhaust, because it sounds almost like a... You remember those old toys where it was a gun and you would pull it and it would blow bubbles? It sounds like that. Not like a Harley. It sounds like a bubble gun. I need to get a new exhaust, but that's, that's later. First things first, seat. It's on the way. And I finally... We got this thing all palleted up. Uh, UPS is on the way. I'm sure they're not the best deal, but they are who I'm using. They will be here picking this up. So Juan, your press is finally on the way. Thank you for your patience. Thank you to everybody who submitted artwork. And I'm sorry to everyone that didn't get picked. I'll do another contest soon. That's when we hit 20,000 subs. Which is coming up pretty soon. And this area of the shop is becoming a bigger and bigger problem every single day. I'm trying to figure out how I can better utilize this space, and here's what I'm thinking. The printer is going to come over underneath here. This couch is also going out there, which is ultimately the trash or cell pile. Get rid of this table, I'm gonna move this, I might even sell this old graph tech. Get rid of this whole thing, get rid of that. Just really clear this whole area out. The only thing I am gonna hang on to is my print file, you know, the, the flat stock filing cabinet, because I love that thing, and just put like, not real pallet shelving, but like Home Depot style pallet shelving here on that wall. And then uh, probably one right here in the middle. And then I'll just have a small sorting table on this side. That area needs to get organized. What else? What's happening today? I'm trying to think what, what I got to do. In last week's vlog, before I took off about the motorcycle, I was talking about how I needed to hit up the MBD. I got to get over there today and take care of that. Conveniently enough, now I have a vehicle so I don't have to Uber over there. I can ride over there. I want to talk a little bit about the situation we are having with this fucking press, man. Now, granted, some of it comes down to uh, our strain tension, but because I had everything leveled, everything was working fine, and now it's not. So the past two days, we had... Jesse couldn't get a simple three-color job in fucking registration to save his life. Even with the whole, the whole pallet leveling thing, there are still issues with with this press that I thought that I had addressed, but they popped up again. Uh, I have to go through and re-Loctite some of the uh, through bolts that go underneath the bottom to the top of the head where the, uh, what do they call these, the kip knobs are. And at this point, I'm just tired of dealing with old shit. I'm tired of it. I need to get in touch with some manual press manufacturers and figure out my options. This. I, I think the problem is because I went through and re loctited all the through bolts. I'm not versed in Loctite. Is the blue removable Loctite not the shit I should be using? Loctite. Non removable Loctite. Difference between red, blue, green, and purple thread lockers. Here we go. So I need the red thread locker to really, to get them through bolts locked in there permanently. You need to take a trip to Ace, grab those. That the pallets themselves are not perfectly level. I'm, actually, I'm certain they're not. You know, they've, they've had heat hit them a bunch of times. So the adhesive that sticks the actual slider to the pallet is warped on some it's lifting on others so even they are not you know they are adding to the issue i've got it as level as i can get it i guess while i'm at it i'm going to get some vinyl washer inside that locks it down tight so i'm going to get a handful of those and this should get us in a And replacing these should get us in a situation where these are moving freely, but when you loosen the kipping knobs, the head's not dropping too much. This should be the last little bit of the puzzle. You know what I mean? I didn't address this the first time around. I'm gonna do it now. 
It's 10.53. Jesse should be here anywhere between now and, you know, 12. Hey, Gage. I know. See, I feel bad for animals because she's just stuck here. Can you imagine just having to, like, lay around all day waiting for some... It's like being in prison. It's like being in prison. They're basically prisoners. Poor baby. I know. I love you. Sorry. Hey guys, this is Regina. You guys met her before. She, she's showing me how to do this. I didn't even know you could do this. The I, the Canon Connect. She is just one of many of our clients that are that we're behind on. <laughs> so she's she's here checking on us, keeping yeah. us in check, and we're failing miserably. But uh, I'll get it. We'll, dude, we'll, we'll at least have one of them done tomorrow, and then yeah. the other one I'm gonna send you the mock-up for it. Yeah, that's fine. I'm just. All right. Shout out to Cam, the Print Life. Bye, guys. See you guys thanks tomorrow. for thanks for your business, Regina. Sorry, we screwed it up. <laughs> it's all good. We'll get it sorted out. It's okay. Okay. It happens. <laughs> Bye, guys. And I'm going to get all the stuff we need to make to fix the print heads. Okay. So then there will be that no more excuses. My, my job. Yeah. yeah. You guys, I'm frazzled. I'm frazzled. I don't know which way is up. I'm on my way to the hardware store. We'll be back in a little bit. Jesse is a uh, just got a lot of one color jobs today, so he, it's it's not a huge deal right now. I'll get it fixed up later this evening. In the meantime, I'm now going to take another trip to the DMV to get that crap sorted out because I have like only five days, or I have to go to court if I don't get there in like five days, which is a pain in the ass. So I got to go get that done. I'm gonna head off to the DMV. Uh, to get this whole license and registration thing sorted out and then I will be back to get the press fixed up and then, oh hey look Richard what's going on? Oh, not hey, much here. man I've been back from the, the DMV for a little while but as soon as I drove up there were some customers here so I sat down with them got uh, a couple graphics lined out um and that was that so that's where I've been but I got the whole license plate thing sorted out. The only thing I have to do now is um, drop off the envelope stating that I did in fact get my license and insurance thing all sorted out. To add insult to goddamn injury, I shit you not, I have not had a traffic violation in so fucking long. 
But it seems like I said it not too long ago, like, oh man, I haven't had a traffic violation in forever, right? And when you say that kind of shit, what happened? I just got one of these damn radar tickets, dude, in the mail. I don't think I've ever gotten one of these. I haven't ever had one of these. So this just pisses me off, man. I have heard that you don't have to pay those um, traffic light tickets. Have any of you had any experience with not paying those? Do they issue a arrest warrant or anything like that? Let me know in the comments if you've had any luck with not paying those things. I heard you didn't have to. Anyway, dude, my driving record's going to be shit after all this. And I ain't doing traffic school. I ain't got time for it. They said all you need is that sheet. I put it... Yeah, I got it. Okay, cool, man. Thank you. No problem. I've never shipped a pallet before. Hopefully, it's all good. It's all good. Thank you, brother. Yeah, See ya. All right. It's on its way to you, my friend. Is it in? Yeah, I think that's it. Oh, goddamn time. We just finished folding that job. Jesse's on his way out of here. Later, Jesse. I'm going to go walk Jeezy and get some goddamn food. Before I go, let me know in the comments uh, what kind of issues you guys have when it comes to registration with your manual press. I'd love to hear your problems, your concerns, and then how you went about addressing it and fixing it if you were able to. Anyway, take care of yourself, print fam. Uh, we'll see you manana. Cool. Peace out.